President Adam Abaro has renewed his pledge to transform the Gambia Armed Forces into a professional force that conforms to international standards. President Baro was presiding over the promotion and decoration of 39 officers from the Gambia Armed Forces at a ceremony held at the State House. 33 of them are from rank of captain to major, while 6 from major to the lieutenant colonels. The decorated officers were reported to have gone through examinations and only those who passed were deemed deserving of the promotion. Those promoted come from different disciplines of the armed forces, ranging from civil, marine, aeronautical, engineering, health, IT, infantry, and intelligence, among several others. Chief of Defense Staff Lieutenant General Masane Kinte in his statement recalled that since President Barrow assumed office as president, he had always maintained having a professional arm devo devoid of politics and tribalism. For not only approving the promotion of these officers present here today, but also for accepting our request for you to personally preside over this solemn occasion as our Commander-in-Chief, despite your extremely busy schedule. It is indeed a clear testimony of the care and concern you have always had the men and women in uniform in general, but more so for the Gambia Armed Forces in particular. Your Excellency, since you took over the mantle of leadership of this country, you have always wanted a professional armed forces devoid of politics and tribalism. And when you appointed me as the Chief of Defense Staff in 2017, you told me that one of the most important priorities of your government is to create a professional armed forces highly motivated and free from political interference. <laughs> you have assured me that no one would interfere with the day-to-day -day running of the armed forces to decide who should be promoted or who should serve where or who should go on peacekeeping or other missions. This is a commitment and a promise you have kept. However, let me hasten to state that as our minister and also commander, our commander-in-chief, you have given access to engage the armed forces, high command, and give them strategic guidance and direction at all times. You are constantly informed of the developments in the armed forces and we thank you for this unique and privileged opportunity. For today's occasion, Your Excellency, we shall witness the decoration, or we have already witnessed, the decoration and swearing-in ceremony of 39 officers comprising of 33 captains to the ranks of uh, major and six majors to the rank of lieutenant colonel or its equivalent, respectively, as earlier on reported by the master of ceremony. Excellency, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to report that these officers decorated here today have distinguished themselves by successfully going through a professional excellency for not only approving the program. Addressing the decorated officers, President Adam Abaro assures them that we will not relent until we have a professional and very well-motivated army that can match other armies around the world. I am aware of the efforts being undertaken to set up a military academy here. This is one of the best drivers towards achieving our security sector reforms. Listen to him in this insert. As Commander-in-Chief of the Gambia Armed Forces, I am deeply delighted to decide over the decoration and swearing in ceremony of the 66 gallant members of our armed forces. Before proceeding, I thank the Almighty Allah for his blessings and the opportunity to hold this event here in State House. I remember that on the 9th February of last year, when I received the Chief of Defense Staff and the High Command of the Armed Forces. 
I mentioned my government plans for the Armed Forces. Among them was the resolve to transform our army into a professional force that conforms to international best practices. The sole reality is that the military cannot be left behind if you want to develop this country meaningfully. Therefore, the promotion and decoration of these officers in our midst is very timely indeed. On behalf of the entire government and the people of the country, I congratulate all of them on their well-deserved achievement. <laughs> Promotions are meant to encourage and reward personnel for hard work, dedication, loyalty, commitment, and devotion. Such promotions must not only be based on merit, but also must be in accordance with the terms and conditions of service that bind the relevant parties. I am reliably informed that the categories of ranks promoted today have all met the specified requirements and pass the promotion exams. In this regard, I convey my gratitude and sincere appreciation to the Chief of Defense Staff for following administrative procedures in line with the law of the country and international best practices. I also convey appreciation to the Promotion Board for a job well done. It is satisfying and reassuring that the right people are promoted based on vacancies that need to be filled. Ladies and gentlemen, report reaching my office indicate that in the past promotions in the Gambia Armed Forces we are not based on merit but on injustice. With my government security sector reform agenda, however, this has already changed. All the officers who have been promoted, I say, you have been accorded a great privilege. But you must know that promotions come with additional responsibilities and challenges. Therefore, you are required to redouble your efforts in order to live to the expectations associated with your new ranks. 